What's going on everybody? Welcome to the episode. Unfortunately, it is raining out right now. I got in the Evo early this morning and when I left my house, it wasn't raining. It was it was a little foggy. I could feel the humidity, but I drove about 20 minutes. I'm trying to find some good content for you guys and I know a few spots. And as I get down here, it just starts dumping rain. So I'm in the Evo and I'm trying to wait it out. Hopefully it'll pass. If not, uh, I might just have to bite the bullet. But in the meantime, Let's cruise around, do some car spotting. Uh, there's always a lot of cool stuff out here in Japan. And let's just go see what we can find. And then hopefully if the rain passes, we'll feature uh, what I originally intended to feature. Stay tuned. And I did order a new steering wheel. I ordered a OMP, uh, I wanna say it was like a 1989 or 1879. I can't remember the exact model number, but you guys will see it here pretty shortly. It should be here maybe this week, uh, but it is a leather OMP race wheel, um, 330 millimeters, so that will end up ultimately replacing this old haggard uh, Momo steering wheel. This thing is super beat. I might just keep this as like a wall ornament for the garage or something. I'm not sure, or I might uh, give it away. Who knows? But uh, at one point, this was probably a really nice wheel, but obviously you see all the imperfections and whatnot. But on a positive note, the Evo is running good. Uh, I went out last night, took it up to the car meet and everything. Uh, you know, I did the oil change and whatnot. Everything's running great. So super pleased. Uh, but look, it's just raining. It's raining. But if you look right here, check this out. Ah, let's see if we can pull up on this. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a little break in the rain. Let's go ahead and get outside and feature some cars. So we are here at a uh, dealership. I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's still raining a little bit. Check it out, I saw a Skyline and then a Miata, but I really wanted to come and check out this Honda Civic EK hatch. Honda Civic Type R, 1,350,000 yen. In white, aftermarket front bumper. It looks like it's been sitting out here for a while. The red Honda badge, the Type R badge is faded pretty good. But what I make out of this five speed, it is a 2,000, 77,000 kilometers. If that's uh, true kilometers, that is stupid low. That's like, I don't know, 45, 50,000 miles. Do a little walk around on this. Hey, there's an Alteza. Oh, what else we got back here? Is that a, what is that? Or a solid, you guys are the pros, you'll know. Aftermarket rear bumper, a little spoiler. Overall, not a bad looking car. Granted, it is raining, so I can't really tell how good the paint is. So obviously, when it's raining, it looks wet, but as soon as it stops raining and dries up, we can see how the clear coat's looking. We can take a little peep inside. It does have an already steering wheel. The driver's seat's a really beat. Goal Sports, you can see it's all ripped up right over here. But the odometer does say 77,000 kilometers. It's got some defy gauges. Overall, not too bad. I don't really know what the current market value is for a Civic Type R hatch right now. It is sitting on some, uh, some Volk wheels. And these are 15s. So 195, 55, 15 for the rubber in the front. It's definitely gonna need some new tires. They're looking a little bald. So 1,350,000 yen, that's about 12,000, I think right now with the current exchange rate, you're like 12.7, 12.8. But that does not include the two-year JCI, that inspection I'm always talking about. So if you tack on uh, maybe another $1,000 out the door, you probably get this for like 13.5, maybe 14K, depending on how much the JCI is gonna run you. There's a nice little crack here in the front bumper. It is pretty dirty. What do you guys think? Where's the Honda gang at? I did this for you guys. I did this for the Honda boys out there. I drove all the way across to the other side of the island. Granted, it's not that far. It's not that wide of an island, but I drove all the way out here to come feature a Honda for you guys. Cause you guys are always asking me, where the Honda's at? Where the Honda's at? Well, here's one. Uh, I do like the white with the black mirrors white on white you guys already know 
For 13, you can get some really nice like Mark II's or uh, you know, like a Cresta, something with a 1JZ, maybe even a Soar. And that's, I mean, as much as a VTEC would be fun and all, um, you know, they did make EK hatches back in the States. So, I don't know, I'd definitely go for something uh, with a twin turbo in it. Or at least a, a single turbo boosted engine. That's just me. But I'm gonna head back to the Evo. Actually, before I do, we can check out this Mazda Miata automatic. 850,000 yen, it's about 8,000 US dollars. And then here's a four-door Skyline GT. I don't see a for sale sign or anything like that, so I don't know if this is for sale. It is automatic. Oh, no way, no way, check out inside. This is why I love Japan. What? Super clean, super clean. I wish I could see more of that. So I love Japan. Who'd have ever thought, right? Just driving down this road, there's a restaurant here, and then good drag in this used car dealership. And then you see these cars out front and there's a nice skyline. Crazy, crazy. All right, back to the Evo. I uh, got a few more stops. Hopefully the rain will, uh, will let up, or at least not pick up, and see what else we can find. All right, so I'm pulling up to the second stop, and I figured I'd just get a quick shot of the Evo in its natural habitat. <laughs> it's probably the most amount of off-roading this car will see. I don't even know if you want to call it that. So in my previous video where I was detailing the car, doing the oil change with my buddy Steve, I was planning on finishing up the car today because I got the front end done for the most part. However, these hood vents right here, whoever painted them previously just did a horrible job. So I'm going to pop these off, sand them down, prime them, and then... I actually have the actual um, coated paint can. It's a W83, the Scotia White. So I'm gonna prime these and then hit it. It's just some rattle can, but out here at the local automotive stores, you can actually buy color-coded paint. I know some places back in the States you can, like Napa and whatnot, uh, but it's super easy out here and super cheap. They're like these little paint pens that attach to a can. And I think for the entire can, it was like $8. So I'm gonna give that a whirl and try to freshen these up. Or, I was thinking about doing black on these two. I might go black and just see how they look. If, uh, if I don't like them, I could always paint them back. They're super easy to pop off. But what do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. Black vents or white vents? But I definitely gotta hit them with something because the entire car used to look somewhat gray like this. But as you can see, since I cleaned up the hood, the contrast is night and day. So now these are such an eyesore. You can see them from a mile away. All right, the next stop is gonna be Garage Silver. There's a nice van. Big old heist. But I wanted to come check out this Subaru BRZ. Now I know I try to feature a lot of like old school JDM cars, but some of you out there might be curious to what the prices of uh, some like newer school JDM cars are going for. So this is a 2013 Subaru BRZ STI with the 6B transmission, and they're asking 1,850,000 yen, so about $18,000. And I'm a fan of these cars. I, I like the Subaru and Toyota collaboration. I recently read that Toyota is gonna bump the power on the uh, GT86, and I believe Subaru is gonna do the same as well. I, I, I think I read that they're putting a turbocharged engine in it. Super excited about that, because I've been saying that from uh, day one. You know, with the STI model that they came out with, I was like, ooh, maybe they'll throw the uh, the EJ20 in there, or the, F excuse me, the FA20. But they didn't. I mean, the boosted FA20, guys. But lightweight cars, rear wheel drive. There's millions and millions of them out here. But I still love seeing them. Clean car. Granted, uh, I would not buy one out here because with that 25 year law, you won't be eligible to go back to the States until 2038. Ways, ways, ways down the road. And, and you know, you can get these back in the States, no problem. And here's the info on it. 59,397 kilometers. Uh, about 35,000 miles. 1,850,000 yen. So it's like probably 17.7. I don't know the current market value on these back in the States. But hey, BRZ out here in Japan. And then while I'm out here, Might as well go ahead and check this bad boy out. I don't think this one's for sale though. 
old school Toyota Chaser. Yeah, I don't see any information on it. It's got a license plate right there. But cool to see. Cool to see. Alright, and they really don't have anything else notable. I was just driving by and I saw the BRZ and I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? I got a few other spots, so uh, let's get back to the Evo and see what we can find. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Off for change? Yeah, bigger, wider. Wow. Uh huh, yeah. Like, oh, Mega Hakusuka. Wow. Okay, okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Well, I found the jackpot, boys. I was driving and I saw over here R32. And uh, I just swung by to take a look and I asked this guy if I could, you know, get some photos on it. He said, have at it. Check this out. This is what I'm talking about. This is such a cool shop. So they're going to cut the fenders on this and do a Hakusuka front. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check out this Mitsubishi Jeep sitting out here. Wow, check this out. They're working on a Z car right now. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful, wow, super cool, classic. Oh wow, beautiful, very nice. Wow. Insane. Very nice. Very nice. Check out this old Kawasaki. This thing's awesome. And check out this old Karina. Look at this license plate on it. Check out the Holy Grail right here. I love the paint on this. This is the most insane sunny I've ever seen. And check out this old Mazda Savannah RX3. I might have to get my paintwork done here. It's insane. So I was literally driving down the street right here and I saw the R32. So naturally I had to pull in and see what the deal is on it. And as I was driving in here, I was like, okay, here's a nice Karina. They got some stuff under the wrap and then freaking Dotson Sunny with a Hako front end. Dream truck for me right there. And this old R32. It's definitely seen some better days. Man, I love Japan. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what this thing is, but this is cool right here. It's got a Nardi steering wheel. What is this? You guys are the pros, you'll know. Definitely an interesting looking little car. Oh man, this GTR though. It's definitely, definitely seen some better days. The rust is bad out here. Every time I see a car like this, it always reminds me where I live and why I need to wash my car religiously because the salt water, we are so close to the ocean, is no joke. 
Awesome, awesome little find. I don't even know the name of this place. I don't know if this thing's getting worked on, but yeah, check out the rust on the inside. It's getting eaten alive. Super cool. Let's go check out this other Nissan Skyline that's on the back side. I was joking with the guy, I was like, hey, you guys do some nice paint work. That Hakka's looking pretty good. Maybe uh, get a little touch up going on over here on the trunk of the Evo. What do you guys think? So cool. Look at the hood on this. And it's got a roll cage. Intercooler on the front. Same thing. The Skyline badge on it. Two thousand GT just sitting out here. Like nothing, no plate on it. A little carbon fiber on the rear bumper. Still a super sweet car. You don't see a lot of these. Definitely a nice find. And here we got a Nissan Figaro. These are kind of cool. Kind of quirky looking vehicles. And this one is rusting out too. Man. Oh geez, look at the hole over here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. So glad I stopped in here. My head's always on a swivel when I'm driving around. I saw those uh, notorious skyline taillights and look what it led me to. Hey, and it, it's still raining, but you know, we're out here doing it for you guys. I guess I'm gonna head into, back to the Evo and uh, see what else we can find. All right guys, probably the last stop. I have been here before. I filmed here maybe a year ago. Burning Spirit, they had a GTO uh, the one time I came out here, but usually they have SUVs. Just taking a quick peep, seeing if there's anything uh, worth noting. Bunch of Land Cruisers out here. They got a Hilux Surf. But no sports cars, no sports cars. But next door is a place. And I featured this car about a year ago, last time I came out here. And it's still here, 1,690,000 yen for this store. About 16,000 US dollars. The gentleman last time did pop the hood. I'll see if I can find that video and link that down below if you want to see more of this car. It is super clean. The paint is really nice on it. It's got some aftermarket wheels. Really, really, really clean. It is manual. So you're looking at about 16,000 US dollars and this car is ready to go back to the States. But I wanted to come here and check out this. So I said I found a Honda for you guys and I wanted to get another Honda. So here is a Honda Civic Type R, 1,590,000 yen, about 15,000 US dollars. And this one is pretty clean, pretty, pretty clean. The hatch that we looked at earlier was just a few thousand less. Granted, the hatch is a lot closer to going back to the States. It's an Umbrembo's, Wed Sport wheels. Ooh, carbon fiber trunk, two-tone spoiler. Catback exhaust. Coming through for the Honda boys today. Tell you what, a little bit of everything for everybody. Some junk Skylines, some Hondas for sale. It is parked next to this Daihatsu. These are pretty cool. 890,000 yen, about 8,000 US dollars for this little K car. And then the Subi gang got something for you guys too. There's a GC8 STI in white. I don't know if it's for sale. It's sitting out here. Maybe they just got it and they're gonna post it for sale here shortly. got the STI fog light covers, the big hood scoop for that top mount. 
Sitting on some raised T37s. Super clean WRX. And I got a crest up on the lift right here. Maybe getting some work done. Check out this trike. Cool little shop. Cool little shop. Check this out. And wait a minute, is this one of those trucks I just saw earlier? I think it is. What are you? This is the second one I've seen today. Mighty Boy. Who makes a Mighty Boy? This thing is really cool looking. I might have to do a little bit more research on that. That's so funny because I saw that black one at that other shop that was all junked out. And here's another one just covered in dust. It's more like a garage ornament than anything. But nice little shop, but yeah, I just wanted to come and check out this Honda. I'm not going to drag this video on too long. It was originally intended to be a Cars for Sale vid until I found those Skylines and that Hako, and then I kind of turned it into like rare finds in a warehouse out here in Japan mixed with like a little bit of junk cars a little bit of everything for you guys rainy Saturday came out really didn't have a plan I knew of a few cars I wanted to come check out and I think it turned out to be a pretty good day in Japan I'm not gonna lie what do you guys think there's their phone number for anybody interested I don't know the name obviously it's in kanji all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video as always thanks for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more jdm car content also go follow me on instagram at captain26 if you guys want to see more of japan please go give me a follow i post a lot on the ig that being said i'm probably gonna hop in family mart behind me grab some coffee get back in the evo and head home enjoy the rest of my weekend that being said i'll catch you on the next video later